Take care of him. Try to make him understand if you can. You have brought blood and death to my house. You are blind. But now you must open your eyes. Your husband was a scarab. He did this. Your father was tortured and scarred by this man. As were so many others. No! It is up to you to raise your boy into the light. Out of the blood and shadows of his father's legacy. I'm sorry, my son. Good news, Layla. IS DNA has finished sequencing. You can sync with their memories now. They're pretty fragmented, but you should be able to dip in for a little while. I walk on your water. Okay. Weird. <laughs> Just like the Battle of Salamis, Captain. I have you trapped. <laughs> Here comes Themistocles. And that is the game. Oh! Ramodo! Foxy, that's why are we delivering all this treasure? We could retire to Lesbos with this amount of gold. <laughs> What say you, desert rat? If that chest doesn't make it to Pompeii, this ship won't either. We crawl through Hades to deliver it if we have to. Enough. Back to work, you slack black horse! Temestis! My trusted shield boy, get to it, huh? We've been hired to bribe Pompeii, to save a queen, and to win a kingdom! <laughs> The usual fare for us mercenaries, huh? Blind. I see the scaries. Your third voyage, and already you bark like a command crew. <laughs> I enjoy watching Spittle get caught in your beard, Foxy Das. Let's not be thrown into the sea. That's no death for such a hero as me. A real hero could swim to save himself. I see them, and not be sucked through a scupper for nothing. Now you're just trying to impress me. The horizon there. Those colors are not from Rome. What mess has this boxy queen dragged us into? Ptolemy's ships, sent by the order of ancients, no doubt. What business do they have with Pompeii? Pompeii's armies will give Cleopatra the throne. They mean to prevent the alliance before it happens. We must hurry. Poseidon's peace. The air is already choked with smoke. The seas will steam near the volcano. We should keep our distance. We don't want to burn. Is that Methana? She hasn't burst for hundreds of years. Wouldn't surprise me if she burst now. Ready ourselves! Let's show these traitors they chose the wrong pharaoh!
Stop the parade of fire! Order the shields! Change for kings or queens. I left my wife and kids behind for the same reason. No one sane accepts me. I accept you. We accept you. All Allah! These hundred Nauta is enough acceptance for me. It's hard to say goodbye to those who don't accept us. But it is also the only way. Is it? Pompey will be at the appointed place off Terra's coast. Sail on! Speed up! Need more speed! Pick up the pace! Off the pace, brothers! Off tempo! the tempo! There! I see him! Pompey sails north! Don't rush! There may be patrols ahead! Are you ordering me away from a fight? Lady shit! Of course not! But I am not keen to die protecting a Roman, especially one who can afford his own protection. You know, you really should join this triary. You'd fit right in. Fire bombs ready! Call for them when we pull near! Off the tempo! Need more speed! Incoming! More speed! Go to hover! Keep the galley speed! Off Incoming. the pace, brothers! Off the pace! And that's the game! <laughs> well fought! 
Now let's find this Metro Coites. I've never met a Roman general face to face before. Ah, don't worry, Aya. I'll be on my best behavior. Civil war in Egypt, and a mercenary trireme comes to my aid. In the midst of war with Caesar, I find it's odd. Who in Hades are you? Well, we could have let you die. Pompeius Magnus. Greetings and friendship from Queen Cleopatra. Cleopatra offers gold to win my favor once I've won Rome. <laughs> Is that what friendship means to your queen? Whose face graces that coin? Do Roman women receive the same honor? An alliance with Cleopatra is a union of true power. She wants more than an ally. She seeks a king. Hmm. A valuable friendship indeed. Agreed. My fleet will soon be ready for Egypt. Speak to Mered, Volodoris' contact. He is a merchant somewhere in this marketplace.
Great Sphinx. It is smaller than I expected. an entrance. How long has this been here? sense. Oh, there must be a way forward. Moon. What is this?
Welcome to Mered's Wares, traveler. Well, what do you think? Junk? Be off then. Ah, uh, I haven't finished. Are you blind? I've nothing left to show you. But you've much to tell me about the hyena. Ah, funny. As it turns out, that happens to be the most expensive thing I'm offering. <laughs> funny indeed. Delivery upon payment. Do you have enough to barter with me? Yeah. Your absurd fee. Now what can you tell me? The hyena is not her real name. <laughs> easy, easy. A poor attempt at humor, I'm afraid. Where can I find her? Her name... Is Khaliset. A favor. Some customers of mine took my horse after a dispute. Their camp lies in a quarry just south of here. Take my man, retrieve my horse, and I'll give you what you came for. Ah. How you found yourself in Apollodorus company escapes me. You'll get it for me. If Apollodorus wants my continued service. Horse. Neglected to tell me his customers were bandits. Join the dead! 
failed to mention it was in the possession of bandits. Slipped my mind. Hmm. Good. Stronger than mine. I thought you said it was yours. <laughs> yes, yes, of course it is. You've done good by me, my friend. Then you'll deliver as promised. My word is my word. But I've one more thing to ask of you. Ah, done with your games. All right. The hyena lives in a cavern, just over those hills. Day and night she roams the desert collecting silica. Precious teardrops of the gods. What has happened to those who have interfered is best left unsaid. If I find you've led me on another futile chase, it won't be my words that hit your ears. A thousand promises. I have no reason to defy you. Don't die out there! <laughs>
That wind will raise the sands. So this is the highlands there. No sign of Khalisat though. Red was telling the truth. I need to figure out where she went. tomb. She has detailed every crevice. Ah, she has not finished. That is where I will find her. I will head to the pyramids. That wind. Sandstorm coming. <laughs> Hyenas. Khaliset must be inside. Her. A Magi who has treaded many dunes to find you. Hide if you must, Hyena. But this tomb will not protect you. I demand that you stop here. Turn back now and I will excuse this intrusion. Siwa was an intrusion. man i am iset possessor of magic the gods live here not you what sort of mischief is she entertaining uh. 
Be gone! Osiris cannot be disturbed! This trap door. What is it protecting? Heathen! The wakeful one is asleep! Go no further, or I will drench these arid plains with your blood! What is this place? A tomb beneath a tomb. Is this where you hide, hyena? <laughs> what gruesome madness happened here? A dark blade. Offerings to Osiris. Protector of the dead. What gruesome madness happened here? This sarcophagus is decorated with goddesses of the mother. Strange symbols are marked all over it. What gruesome map? Hmm. Alice drew these symbols here. Was she trying to figure out their meaning? What gruesome map? Still warm. And the ceremonial knife. This was a sacrifice. I think I know what Dark Deeds Haliset was after here. Haliset was doing a ritual. She began by calling to Osiris with these offerings. She used a knife to sacrifice her captives. She collected their blood for some dark purpose. She was attempting to learn these strange symbols. She must have found them in this room. When she knew the symbols, she carved them here and ended the ritual with one final prayer over the sarcophagus. Alicet must be trying to bring someone back to life. But just who is buried down here? Retransmission, segment three. Acquiring contemporaneity. It has been 95 days since the great catastrophe. The messenger speaks. You must be wondering why I have reached out to you. It was written, you see that you would come to this particular chamber at this very moment in time. The walls told us of your coming when we once were. Look at them. Are they not fascinating? One of your... Look of your... These walls tell of a tragic story. A story we transcribed on our structures, on our artifacts. A story we could not alter. A mystery defying this in plain sight. We tried. Our scholars and scientists, poets and physicists, bright minds, rebellious hearts. They all tried so hard to bring about change. They. We all failed. None could change what we discovered, the stories written into the walls of these rooms. By whom, we never knew. We know they tell of the future that is, the future that was, and the future that is yet to come. The Zeros? We failed at modifying the line. We failed at adding a single dot. It was clear. We were to be messengers at best. But messengers to whom? To you. We removed our ability to read those stories from your original template. A doorway that is also a puzzle. We must find the solution. Those were Brutus' words when he visited the vault under the Colosseum more than 2,000 years ago. He drew the vault, sketched it to the best of his abilities, but he could not see. Just as you are blind, you may read your watch, you may read hourglasses and calendars, 
but you cannot grasp beyond that simplistic surface. For now, the true reading of time still escapes you. And so today, the curtains pulled, and the mirrors is shown, tragic and complete. Those walls you might never read. Events yet unfold as written. But something, anything must change. You do not understand what is at stake. The reader has no power. He is but an observer. But the author? The author invents the future. The author owns the future. A future where zeros are avoided. A future where a loved one can be revived by the drafting of a new chapter. A future where humankind is more than it is today. A future where just perhaps, we can all still exist together. Child. My child! You lost your child. I haven't. Her rest is temporary. You have intervened on her reawakening. And yet you aligned yourself to the Order. Ravaged this tomb. Halicet! Don't you dare say my name! My name does not merit your lips, you who have dishonored her. I am a good mother. Meet me, coward! show you what happens to those who desecrate my daughter's tomb. You are in pursuit of the impossible, Halicet. No measure of magic can bring our children back.
Kopf sind noch was leer. Do I walk among the dead now? A just end. You defiled the dead and enabled the people who killed my son. All on a selfish whim. No. I gathered the silica for them. It powered the magic stone of those who came before. You saw it, didn't you? The symbols only needed to be learned. It is not meant for us. It makes no difference now. I wanted to protect my daughter in life and death. I have done neither. Osiris! Please grant me reunion. She walks alone in the field of reeds. Am I to remain in the Duatla Emma? I just want my daughter back! Find your daughter in the afterlife, Haliset. May the Lord of the Duat guide you. right away. He's likely at the Great Temple.
Hey, don't test my patience. Away, idiot. You dare accuse me, you coward? You... Perhaps we forgot some part of the ritual. I will vomit if I hear more. Have no doubt of this. If our child dies, I die. No, my lotus, do not speak like that. I must go to the seer's house. Please leave me be. Priest. Uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, uh... I have come to seek the lizard. Oh, the lizard. One more affliction for Memphis. The city withers in the darkness of a curse. Disease, pestilence, the poison stink of the air. The ape is cool second nearly unto death. Gods have abandoned us. The people look to me for guidance, but I am as lost as they. Hush! <laughs> Even my own house, my wife Time Hotep has miscarried three times this year. She's with child again, but if, if she loses a fourth, <laughs> I will look into this curse. My wife's seer can help. His house is to the southwest. If the gods are responsible. I will kneel beside you as they strike us down. Come forth, O oh light. Uh, oh, ah. My child. Oh. Ah. You have come at last. Who is this man? He is the deliverer. Many years I have waited for him. What? Quick, help me dream my child away from death. Let us proceed with the ritual. Bring me the cauldron. I am the master of secret things. The form of the soul that rests in the heavens. I am servant to the great God who gives life. 